you don't often get somebody from my socioeconomic background in these spaces. People who can tell the stories that I'm endeavoring to tell, a lot of the times die or go to jail before they can. But I didn't, and I'm here, and I'm telling the story. My family's been in Oakland since 1927. My grandmother on my mom's side had 16 kids, 12 of those kids had 58, 58 had 112, and 112 had 158. And so I just grew up in this big sprawling family across Oakland. Sugarcane and Lightning is a mixtape of black life and American history from my familial perspective. And it's a collection of family archives, national archives, photos I've taken, all kind of put together in one vessel to see what gets revealed about not only myself and my family, but how we relate to the plantocracy, how we relate to American history. The Game Guys was like, I wanted to take capitalism, its afterlives, its relationship to the commodification of black bodies and theft of indigenous lands. And so I just wanted to explore that a little bit further and put it into this film. I've been working on the screenplay Cousins for a few years now. In 2015, my, my brother was murdered. When he got killed, I was left with this one hour long interview that I had of him and I watched it over and over and over again and I felt like I needed to do something with it. And now it has to be translated into narrative because there's other aspects of his character and of our world and upbringing that I want to convey in a film. And selfishly, I just want to see him live again because I love him. There needs to be more fellowships like the Rain Arts Fellowship where Institutions are being like, we're gonna invest in these artists and we're gonna let them do whatever they need to do. And we need that. Because when you lose your artists, you lose your culture. And if you lose your culture, you lose your direction. <laughs>